Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, how are you? Welcome to Suarez HQ. Um, another impromptu live stream begins. If you're able to see this, then well done you. I've got the laptop open, and I'm just trying to find out where on the channel this is. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you do find it, and uh, we shall soon see. Okay, I'll do a refresh and just see if I can find it. But anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you do find let's just it. Have a little look. And make sure I can find myself. Okay, yes, there we are. I've got it. Right, we are live. Fantastic. Oh, and we are running. Right, let's just pull that where I can actually see it. Uh, welcome everybody. Let me just put that into. There we go. Now I can see everything that's going on. Fantastic. Right. No, thank you. I don't want to sign in. No, play, play. Goodness sake. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, right, guys, we're going to run the intro, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey, right. Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. How, how are you doing? Uh, right. I think we've sorted this out now. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Can we say hello to Trina and Over the Rainbow and uh, Robert Mungin? Yes, a surprise video. Run and tell all your friends. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, usually I haven't got my mask on at the moment. I've got a 90 decibel extractor going on over there. Uh, nothing to stop it from uh, penetrating through my ears. So everything's a little bit surreal at the moment. Anyway. Uh, I did say penetrating, yes. I'll just move swiftly on. Now, I've got to tell you guys, we, we are going to work on a... I'm going to work on a client's commission painting right in front of you. So for the next 35, 40, 40 minutes, let's see how we get on. I've got a poorly back. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but everything everything has to carry on. I pulled it, pulled my back. I won't tell you how I pulled my back. I'll leave you that to, uh, to discuss amongst yourselves. Um, but I am wearing a man... Girdle, you know, one of these. Can't, can't think of another way to describe it. One of these neoprene back supports. Plenty of heat rub. And I've also got the big belt on as well for my breathing mask. So I think between all that, compressing everything, and it being really sort of hot inside with the rub, uh, we should get through this okay. We'll get through it together, shall we? So now you're, you're seeing you're seeing me uh, cut a piece of canvas. Uh, so this is going to be quite a big one that we're going to start on today, guys, all right? But I just wanted, to, just so we didn't kind of waste any more um, time in prep, I just thought that we'd get uh, a piece cut and then we can crack on between us, can't we? And uh, see how we get on. But yeah, a little bit of an impromptu one. If you have been watching the live streams, you'll know that we have kind of hinted that this is what we're going to do. We're going to just do some pop-up ones wherever we can. So uh, we thought, because we're so snowed under with the amount that we've got to do, we thought it was probably a re really good idea to um, to just crack on and actually just just make everything live. You know, as, as the painting's going on, there's there's nothing secret going on here. There's nothing at the moment top secret. Um, I say at the moment. <laughs> That's my earpiece. There we go. Um, so yeah, so we, so we thought we'd just get some stuff done. So I'm just going to cut this canvas. And then we're going to get started, all right? And then if we're lucky, we might continue, if we get some time, uh, to put some more on to... Can we go on to uh, chest cam just for a second, buddy? Yeah, so see this one here? So I was working on this uh, last time we went live in prompt you. And then there's another one that end, look. Um, so if we've got time while you guys are on air, we'll, we'll put some orange on that as well. This is the next phase of this for, um, for that particular customer. Ah, oh, Kirk. Uh, hi again, mate. How are you doing? Very nice to see you. Um, it's snowing in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and Trina says hello, AD. Yes, I'm sure he'll say hello back. <laughs> Excellent. Right, okay. Let's get me scissors. See if my back will hold out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's just get this cut. It won't be the... Um, it's not the actual size of 
for the customer. I'll, I'll explain what I mean. Um, this is going to have a finish size of 250 centimeters by 100. So I've cut a 120 this way. So the 120 means that I've got 10 centimeters to go around the side and the back of the frame when we stretch it. But this is a 3.2 meter roll. So of course, I've got more in the length than I actually need. But I can't be bothered to stand there and measure from one end and cut that as well. I just want to get on. Um, I'm sure you don't want to watch some 50 year old bloke cutting canvas all afternoon. That's just going to be tedious for you, isn't it? So I'll roll this out of the way. And then we're going to crack on. Uh, right. OK, so. OK, we're going to keep chatting to you guys as well as we go on, hopefully. Now, have I just cleared the stand? Ah, oh, Funny Fox is here. Good, good afternoon, Funny Fox. Right. So, quickly going to ask AD in a second if we've got this in position. So, the reason why now, lo and behold, I'm, I'm going to give a... We haven't got a drum roll yet, have we? <laughs> so, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to tell you now, we've changed one of the cameras for high definition, super zoom, oh my word, mega, getting ready for tomorrow night's live stream. We've done it, we've plumbed it in, tested it, configured it, and I'm gonna get in position. And then AD, if you wanna cue, cue me up, buddy, whenever you're ready. Kadoom, there we go, Kapaz, Kadoom, here I am, look. And we've got a movable camera. For those of you that watch the live streams, you'll know that your overhead cam it's historically a fixed camera. Not anymore. Look, we can move and we can pan and we can zoom. Oh, wow, check it out. Yes. Look, here I you can follow me. You could probably follow me around, actually. That's quite comfortable. There we go, look. We haven't been able to do that before, have we? <laughs> In fact, let's see how far around, let's see how far around we can go. You don't get this on any other channel on YouTube, I can tell you, hey? So let's see if we can figure out. This is like being spot. No, go away. We're working. <laughs> I've gone all sorts. I've fallen off. I've fallen off the edge of everything. So there you go, guys. We've got the brand new camera. Long, long last. So just think then when you tune in tomorrow night, just how amazing. There we go. How amazing this is going to look. Uh, so we, we're really excited by that, but we wanted to get it done today for you and uh, just spend a little bit of time just going through what we're going to do. So um, there you go. How, how awesome is that? I mean, it's just amazing. Don't forget, you know, we are live stream streaming tomorrow, uh, 7.30 p.m. UK time. And we're going to carry on with the 12 days of Christmas, <clears throat> which is, was a riot last week. Thoroughly enjoyed it. If you don't know what I mean, don't worry about it. Just tune in tomorrow. Simple as that. Right. Uh, I think we'll get on. Shall I get shall I get the mask on? Shall we get on? Who else have we got? Nana Maya. Greetings. Hi, Nana. Ah, oh, over the rainbow's gotta go back to work. Killer. Thank you for joining us. Great to see you. Right, I'm gonna get myself plugged in. And then uh, we'll get some paint open and see how we go on. If I can just get me get it in the hole. There we go. Right, let's see how we go now then, shall we? See how much I knock my microphone around. Okay. There might just be a small delay. Right. One, two, three. I was just going to do a mic check with AD. It's not so far into my mouth, mate. So that that's the bend is good. Probably very loud now. Okay. So again okay right let me chat so i'm just going to get the uh you probably hear the beeps in my mask i'm just going to get it up to the right setting before we start opening the paint okay let's make, make sure i got my seal correct right, i got a little bit of uh mist okay uh so uh funny fox yeah uh no it's just youtube fans just the youtube crew here today no instagram although i did put a little post out saying where everybody could find us um Aby, can you just talk in my ear mate yeah fair. i'm just going to turn this the um the, our internal mic up mate can you just keep talking that's better yeah yeah cool thanks mate 
Right, okay, so we're going to hopefully talk at this level, so there we go. Oh, Elusio, big canvas today. Greetings from Latvia, yes. Yes, it is certainly a big canvas. Should we, should we get going? I think I think we should. So apologies again if I uh, look like I'm hobbling or I've soiled myself. I do apologise. Um, back's, uh, back's been put out, so um, there we go. Right, let's get some of this on, shall we? And uh, let's see where we're going. Right then, guys. Okay. So we've been, we've been through all the cameras now, buddy. All camera. You happy that all the cameras are working? Yeah. All camera check. Let's go on to all four cameras. Boom, shakalak. There we go. Look. Happy days. Right. Let's just have a walk over here. Make sure everything is in check. Ah, awesome. Right. Let's go then, guys. Now, my ear defenders haven't arrived yet. I'm probably not going to arrive till Friday, which is uh, terribly unfortunate. But hey-ho. Not to worry. Uh, anyway, right. So, let's make a start. Now, what I haven't got is anything to show you what this is supposed to look like. <laughs> I just know what it's supposed to look like, so I'm going to crack on with it. Um, now, uh, I know that I'm going to need several different colours. So, I'm going to start with, I believe I'm going to start with a yellow on the base so all you yellow lovers this is for you so we're going to move some yellow away. i don't know how far we're going to get with this to be honest with you today uh but at least let's make a start um like i say it's great for you to uh to, to join us here today so please feel free uh, obviously you're watching this on youtube uh if you're uh if you're new to the channel or haven't seen us do this before then by all means ask questions and uh if i don't see them on the laptop then ad will keep an eye on them and he'll feed them into the headset uh so that i can uh, hopefully try and answer some of your questions okay right uh funny fox what did you say uh there was some nice purple painting at the back yes funny fox we had a look at that earlier on the chest cam that's it uh dude if we can whiz on to chest cam just for a second so you can see on the chest cam now I'm mixing up this really, it's quite a nice thick yellow. And uh, it's like a sort of, it's a bit of a canary-ish yellow with a hint of melon in it. It's one of these warm tones I really like. And I've just got some little mixture with it, which I can't tell you about, which will just help when we're stretching it. So that's the first colour that's going to go on. Now then, let's go, we're going to pick the second one. I have to get a little bit of blue on one side okay so we'll still we'll stick on chest cam for a minute all right um that's nice and then i'm going to need plenty of gold now what i'm going to do now as i try to not rock my body too much we're going to turn the gold upside down because i want sediment or, or the the, um, the metallic powder that sinks the heavy materials um just to, to kind of sink back up to the surface if you go that way so when i mix it it's just a lot easier to mix so we'll get that on the, on the way now and then I'm also going to need blue. Now, at the moment, I don't want to use the Suarez blue, so I'm going to go for one of the darker ones. Uh, this is just an underpinning of blue, so this is going to go out as well. Quite a deep blue, this one. Really like this. This is nice. Right, let's get myself sorted out here. So I need a little bit more of my special additive into here. Uh, right, so now we're on the overhead. Lady's going to try and zoom around to find me. <laughs> Mixing at my bench. Now, this will be a brand new camera angle. This this, this could be quite entertaining. Now, of course, <clears throat> what I'm going to mix now, I'm going to mix some blue in. Now, we all know what happens when these two colours go together. You get green. Uh, and I want to try and avoid the green moment. Now, over to the right-hand side is where I'm going to feature the blue. And I may very well feature it in a couple of other places. So as with so many other things, the background layer is uber important because it sets the roadmap for what goes on the top. Okay, so we're on chest and overhead, so I think let's go for our little start with our little combo, all right? So I particularly want yellow out to the sides and the corners. So that's that one. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to be wanting a, a slightly brighter, most more sunshiny yellow in a minute so i'm going to get the blue over here and then i want to get a little bit of blue over there well we will become clear actually i feel like i'm cheating you by not showing you what this should look like but 
trust me, it'll come out all right. Right, okay, so, um, is that the yellow I've had already? Yes, it is the yellow I've had already, right, so that's the wrong one. Ow. Uh, right, let's have a look at my other one. So, great question from Robert, thank you for asking that. So, when the client asks for a commission, uh, do they ask for anything in particular? Well, everything's really uh, kind of... It's a bit of a difficult one to answer that, Robert, simply because everybody's different. Um, most of the time, yes. So I'm going to be working on some smaller ones um, later in the week or maybe over the weekend. And um, they're, they're four very different ones for one particular client, for a couple. And uh, they've got uh, ideas about things that they've already seen on the website and want elements of certain paintings or styles of uh, replicated. So they're very clear on it. Other clients don't. Uh, other clients are like, no, dude, as long as it's got red and black, I don't care. <laughs> but it's all great from all sort of directions, you know, and um, one of the things that really pushes me is the fact that I have to then come away and do something that somebody, you know, really, really wants to own. And so there's a lot of a lot of good pressure to have. Um, but um, yeah, nonetheless, it's still a pressure. But yeah, no, it's a very good question. So thank you for asking. OK, right. So. Okay, let's see if I can actually bend down for a second. There we go. And let's get some more scrapers. I think this one's seen better days now. Right, we're going to give this a little scrape off the edge, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix this around on the canvas, and we're going to start spreading this out a little bit. Now, remember, I'm just in the underpinning stage, um, so there isn't much of the top stuff going on at the moment, but I, again, I have to have this consideration about what goes over the top. So it's very, very important. Well, I'm just scraping this. Let's have a look at your chat. Uh, what else do we have to say? Uh, anybody who says some nice purple painting? All right, okay, no more chat at the moment. Right, I'll just continue to talk a little. It's fine. Is everybody having a lunch? Is it lunchtime where everybody is now? Or have, we gone, have we gone past lunch? 20 to 2. Yeah. Technically, I suppose it's past lunch now, isn't it? All righty then. Right, okay, let's have a go then. So... I'm going to start spreading the yellow around. But this is this is me just getting paint moved. If you're familiar with the live streams, then you'll have seen me do this a number of times before. But what's really good, because the techniques that are going to go over the top of it, uh, I need to get the canvas filled. I don't want to have bits of canvas sort of, you know, just poking out all over the place. Katrina is in the morning and she's having a coffee. That sounds... Oh dear, look at something. My thingies fell off. <laughs> yeah, Trina, very, very, very jealous. It'd be nice to uh, to be having a coffee right now. We've, we've been stretching paintings up um, all morning since we got here. And uh, got a client we're going out to next Tuesday. And uh, we're taking, well, actually, he's a, a guy who's commissioned. And uh, we're taking three four five seven that i painted for him we're taking those out uh, into his uh five-story uh, townhouse in london and um, we're doing the first wave uh, in his house so i've been painting fairly rapidly with his um but yeah really really happy with the way those have come out so i've been doing those here in the pod haven't videoed anything or haven't put that out on live but um, yeah, yeah, so, so far, so good. He's, he's really happy, really looking forward to seeing us going out. Now, I'm just leaving the blue for now. Oh, hi, Zach Llewellyn. Nice to see you. Oh, you had a, a stressful start. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Well, I hope we can uh, make things a little bit better for you. If it makes you feel any better, that that has got the dentist today. <laughs> Yeah, not the best, is it? Okay, right. So let's move the let's move the blue around. Oh, and Animaeus, east coast of the US. Time for a second breakfast. West coast, did you say? Yeah. East. Okay. Right. Okay. So you can see what's happening already. Look, of course, as soon as the blue hits the yellow, we get green. Fine. That's fairly standard stuff. Not worried about that at all. If we get the drops of green in. Okay, that's fine. Center at the moment, I'm not too concerned about, but I do want to get some little flashes of other colors in there because basically these colors are going to go over the top 
but at the moment what I need to do is to also get them featured in the bottom because when I use the techniques over the top if anything doesn't cover the canvas I'm going to get the white of the canvas underneath and that's one thing that I do not want so this is entirely designed to avoid that particular issue so we're going to get some red so just some great big areas of color I say randomly applied it's not randomly applied it has to go in specific places because I know what I'm going to do over the top but that notwithstanding it's still very very important just to get the canvas covered so once I've got this covered we're going to get on with the red next that's going to be the next color and we're going to have one of my favorites which is water blue and that bad boy is going to go on shortly after this okay so we're going to get the red on and I'm going to do some of the red in the middle I'm going to bring it to one edge Okay, just having a brief a moment for a second, and I'm going to a little bit out on this bit here. All right, so we'll leave that where it is. Okay, let's get the lid back on the yellow. Uh, oh, I need to get my, my water blue out. Okay, so where's my... No, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to use a massive tin. i use a little one, hopefully. That is still okay, and I'm going to water this down. I say water, obviously, no water. I'm going to thin it because uh, I need to move this around quite a bit. And it may very well be that this gets left for a couple of days um, so it can sort itself out. I say, I say that, that in, in a way, like I've got that luxury, I haven't really, I'll have to maneuver it somewhere else <laughs> um, because I'm having to do tomorrow night's live stream. So, obviously, I do hope that you join us for that. Uh, that's going to be pretty spectacular, like they always are. And uh, really looking forward to that. We're doing some small ones again tomorrow night. I had such huge fun doing them last week. I had some great feedback uh, off you guys. It's the uh, theme of the 12 days of Christmas. A lot of fun. Right, okay, so let's get this one. It's called Water Blue. And um, it's a standard RAL color, if you're interested in knowing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Cameron's here. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. And then we're going to get some gold on, and the gold's just going to come pretty much as is uh, out of the old uh, out of the old tin. So let's get ready on chest cam. Let's unveil the gold. Here we go. Oh yes, yes indeed. Give me some of that. Let's, in fact, that's worthy of a trip into the light. Mmm, sensational. Look at that. Gorgeous. I mean, this is. Look at the way that glints in the light. You kind of clients over the last few months take a look at gold on some of the paintings when they come in, literally just cannot believe how incredible it looks. Say what? Let's get some of that on. Fantastic. Right, I'm just going to get that spread around a little bit. Um, one of the main features of this over the top is going to be orange. Um, got some, some more orange coming, but... I won't be able to pick that up until tomorrow, so um, I want to save what i got today to go on the purple ones behind me. So it may be that when we've got this, these elements on, that I um, turn my attention to the ones behind me. I think that would be pretty cool, actually, if we did that. All right, so I'm just going to maneuver this around a little bit. Most of this is going to get covered up, so I'm really not too worried, but I want to get a real mishmash and quite a splash of colour going around the place here. Um, as long as I just leave the yellow towards the edges, it's the most important thing because they're going to be the ones that are probably most exposed once we've finished what we're doing. So, uh, Jeff Jenkins, hi, nice to see you. Yeah, gold, you just you did arrive at the right time. Yeah, so let's just get that spread out. Again, this is really at this stage, all this is about is, is getting the canvas covered, getting some of the feature colors from the top. Uh, onto the bottom and give them a chance to uh, kind of dry out and find their own levels. We might get some more yellow on there actually before I turn my attention to the other one. Uh, Mark loves the long format. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, well, um, any excuse to do a giant painting, I mean, it's, it's where I'm at my happiest, really, isn't it? So, again, me. Uh, so, the canvas is 3.2 meters long in its current state and 120 centimeters wide. Um, but we are due, this will be cut down anyway. 
Oh, we just lost a camera. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good job. We're um, we're we're trailing this all, isn't it? Before tomorrow. Okay. So AD is just going to see us all that, and we're back. That's good. Right. Going to get some more. I need to get some more yellow on those ends, and just tidy the corners up. That's fine. Okay. So that's good. So yeah, this this is um. So this is actually the start of somebody's. Now, typically. Uh, paintings can take anything from well i can do them in a single session as you know from the in the live streams uh, but more often than not um there's normally this this is normally session one where we're looking at background layers and setting that up and giving that a chance to cure and to dry and then it will depend on what effect i'm going for as to how long that period will be until i can get back in here and start again on it so with this particular one, it's probably going to be something around about Saturday or Sunday. Um, to be back in, we're back. We're out on Friday actually um, with a client delivering uh, quite a big painting, and uh, which is really exciting. So really happy to meet them. First got in touch about three years ago, and we're finally getting to see them on uh, on on Friday. So really looking forward to that. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to whiz around the outsides with the yellow. Okay, uh, where else? Ed, where did, when did you get the new mask, says Trina. Uh, yeah, um, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago now? Probably about three weeks ago. Who's that, mate? So, Mar Maria, can we ask you not to use the naughty word, please? Otherwise, we can't show your comments. <laughs> Good, yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Otherwise, uh, it automatically gets filtered out, Maria, that's all. Lovely, thank you for that. Bit of housekeeping. Right, let's pop... Uh, and hello, by the way, Maria. It's very nice to see you. <laughs> so, Zach Lurley, how do you set a date to come to the gallery? You follow me over an email and, said, and say, when can I come? <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. Yeah, all welcome. If you want to come down and have a look, and we can fix the date. I mean, we... We are busy, but uh, we can always find time. We always find time. So, yeah, find me over an email, and uh, we'll come and give you the the full tour. Uh, so, Mark's asking, uh, great question, Mark. How long will this take to dry? So, yeah, like I was kind of alluding to earlier, depending on the kind of painting I'm doing or what effects I want, that really is the precursor to how long I leave it. So. I don't really want too much to mix with the base layer on this, so I'm probably going to leave this a couple of days now, probably, in, well, I'll say probably to about Friday, Saturday, and then I'm going to use a technique over the top, um, which ideally what I want to do is put this on the spin table, but I can't because it's, it's completely the wrong size, and the spin table won't take anything this big, uh, and it's not really designed to take rectangles as well, which is a shame, <laughs> uh, but that's ultimately what I want to do, so because that's what the customer likes but i'm going to try a completely different technique which is where i end up wearing it like a hat um but i can't really do that until this is dry <laughs> so um i'll explain what that means uh so yeah basically what happens is uh which camera do you want me on buddy okay yeah i'll come around that way then so basically what happened what happens is this uh i start applying paint in the center and i'll start manually moving it with my squeegee and I start moving in like crisscross, almost like the Union Jack flag kind of directions, up and down, left and right, off to the corners, that kind of thing. And uh, then I kind of, this is so bizarre, I have to lift it from the centre and almost do like a weird kind of Latin American sort of dance and swirl it around me. I'd like I'm making pizza bases, there you go, that's a good one. And try and get it down without it all looking like a, you know, like a terrible mess. So there's a big, big challenge with this one. Um, because I want to try and get these radiating fronds and these kind of semicircles and swoops in it. I literally have no idea how I'm going to do it right now, but I've got to figure it out somehow, <laughs> which, which I will at some point. Um, client's not in any rush, thank, thankfully. <laughs> I am though, because we've got tons to do. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's let's recap. We've got some base coat on. We've got most of the highlight colours that are going over the top already featured. One thing I haven't got is the orange, but we're not going to put the orange on until it's on the top. Because there'll be so much orange over the top and white, actually, to be fair. I don't want to feature too much too much of that on the underside. Can I say again, buddy? Okay. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Right. Okay. So, 
we did, we did promise it, didn't we? I said, well, I'm going to see if I can do something on these end ones for now. Um, Zach Llewellyn. Uh, okay. Praying. Okay, Hang on just a second, mate. I'm just going to reposition my uh, earbuds. Bear with me, everybody. Right. Say it again, buddy. Yeah, that's that's great. No, no, it's it's just not. It doesn't sit well in my ears. So I'll turn you to, I'll turn you to them. It's all right. Yeah, because when it slightly comes out, then I can't hear. That's all right. Yeah, that's better, mate. I got you now. Um, I just didn't turn the volume up enough. Right, let us uh, get some more gloves on, and we're gonna have a little play now. If we was onto corner cam for a second, buddy. That would be awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have a little whiz on uh, these two at the ends now. No, these are. Uh, um, the first two variations for client, and uh, so this is kind of like session, first session done. So we're going to water down some, um, or thin down some orange, and I'm going to start laying some orange down now. I'm going to be very careful of my back, because I don't want to really mess it up. It's a little bit twingy, but we're okay. Uh, so let's get this done. So I don't know which one we're going to start on, left or right, who knows. Right, let's see what we've got left in here. And uh, go from there. Okay, so let's get some thinners out. Have we got some in there? Okay, right. So you may not you may not get the best view of these in the world, which is fine. That's okay. We'll see. We'll, we'll get some of it, and we'll get some of it on the chest cam as well. So that's all right, guys. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we're on chest cam there. So you can see me in the uh, in the can now of orange. Get in that one whizzed around beautiful happy days like i said i got some more i've got to pick up some more tomorrow um so i can finish so i can start on the one behind me that we started today i mean if you imagine while well, we stick on chest camera here for a second imagine now on here when i go in with the with the orange and we've got gold and we've got white and we've got big starbursty kind of things going all over the top of that it's gonna look magnificent um but for now like i said all we needed to do was just get the base of the canvas covered which hopefully we've done no, 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 no. What, what's going on here, Ed, I ask you? Ah, oh, here you ask. Right, okay. We need to dispense some orange. Let me see how thick this is. Now, there'll be a couple more sessions to go on these before they're at a point where they're done. Okay, i got an itchy nose. Oh, that's not good, is it? That's not good. Uh, oh, Daniel Westerbarn is here. Hello, and Daisy. Nice to see you guys. Thank you for joining us. Okay, right. So uh, let's start. No, no, this is no good. Oh, what's happening here? Why have I got any? It's just... Sorry, guys. Just bear with me a second. Ugh. Right, won't be a sec. Okay, have you got me back, mate? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Run your nose. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> okay, right. Let's uh, let's press on. So, not too much left to do. Okay, what are we on? Uh, okay. okay, fantastic. So, let's see what we can do next. Right, okay. So, we've got some orange. Let's arrange the orange. Okay. Right, so now I've got my back to you a little bit. So I want to get some sort of loops and swoops going across here, fairly light. So I'm going to kind of go from the middle. How am I going to get on this then? I can't bend. Oh man, you don't realise, do you? Let's let's see if I can do it. Right, let's tilt the chest cam up a bit. How's that looking, buddy? Can you see that okay? Okay. Okay, let's get some nice loops going on there. Let's just thin down a bit, so it's going to have a little bit of movement, which is what I want. I'm going to start and build. So this is this is very similar, I suppose, in some respects to what I've already done this morning uh, here. In the fact that we've gone through a couple of sessions, we're building the layers up, and now we're starting to build some of the some of the details now and some of the, the forms, the really important forms, all right? So I'm going to do the same over here now. You might be on chest cam again, because I don't know if you can see this on anything other. <laughs> He's just going to turn it around and see if we can uh, see it. There we go. You see my face now. You lucky people. <laughs> He's going to come down there to see what you can see. If you want me to... Yeah, there we go. So we're going to do a similar kind of thing now. And I'm going to go fairly loose. 
There we go. So I need this to have an orange, a light kind of orangey, urban, yellowy vibe going on. In fact, I'm tempted just to stick a bit of melon yellow on that. Let's do it, yeah, because I need to yellow this up a little bit. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that again. So I'm gonna revert back. It's a bit of a yellow day, isn't it? I like that. So let's get let's get some of the melon yellow on. Okay. Yes, let's give that a whiz around. No, do I want that? I've just decided actually I might change. I might change. Let's go for a different one. Yeah. I want to go for something a bit more sunny. Or rather bright, should I say. Okay, so let's get the lid off. That one, that's fine. That one, where's me? Where's my opening tool disappeared to? It's got so much paint on it now, I can barely see it when I put it down. There we go. Okay. So again, we're going to get a little bit of this on. We'll drop some drops here and there. And that's going to react with the orange nicely. And this is going to start lifting everything away from that sort of a uh, purpley bluey kind of thing that's going on and bring a more sunny vibe out all right which is what we want okay so we're going to go back over into the uh is that all right buddy we're going to the corner no actually no no don't worry i'll go to the end one thing it's fine just switch me on to uh chest cam and i'll do the end one okay perfect so i can hear you typing so that's cool right so let's get the yellow on Ooh, like a kid in a candy shop Nice. We're going to go wider. Yeah, lovely. Let's get all that on. What a jamboree of happiness. Fantastic. Love it. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Beautiful. But I'm tempted to add that last drop of red in there. Now, sometimes when you add or mix or use the same cup for different paints, you get this kind of candy swirl effect. And I really like that from time to time. So I tend to be reusing quite a few of the cops for just different colors okay buddy whenever you're ready on the old call now so yeah guys if you're enjoying this uh please do give us a thumbs up share, share a little bit of love yay fantastic <laughs> thank you right so we're going to come around now i'm going to drop uh so i'm now going to bring some yellows more sunny tones and a little drop of red onto this now and then for this one that'll be it for today all right so here we go yellow should start coming out now look at that wow yeah like a psychedelic dream all right beautiful Yay! loving that Woohoo! so what we've done down at the end one <laughs> he's gonna zoom yeah that's fine let's have a zoom on that so I'm really kind of, you know, having a bit of a play with these two variations for the client. Um, so we've gone quite loose with the technique here. Lots of these candy canes sort of things going on. We're starting to build the layers up now. I'd say that we've got gold, we've got greens, we've got reds. There's probably another three sessions to come on both of these yet before we really got this massive crescendo of colour. Um, and at the end, it will be bringing a white with a very tiny hint of blue in just to tie the foregrounds and background layers together. So that's the principle behind that. So everything will have its place. And then down at the end, we've done a similar kind of thing. And we're on chest cam. And now you can see we've probably got, we've gone more light uh, with the yellow and it's more defined. And it's not the red in this one. So again, I'm just playing with those principles between the two. Um, in fact, when I spoke to the client, she was watching last week when, when we did, oh, excuse me, when we did these two, and thought it's just like whoa this is really cool so as we keep adding to them uh, hopefully this is going to really build on that experience for her so a couple of things i need just to do here i can see the paint is a little bit heavy in just a couple of places so let's just get this spread out now remember it doesn't matter now at the moment what our lines look like oh john zapata has uh joined us hi john great to see you i know we'll be going off air shortly but thanks anyway <laughs> The difficult thing with going live is that uh, we don't, we, <clears throat> yeah, we're just doing an impromptu, really. We we, uh, we haven't got a URL link to show everybody until we're live, and by that point, we're actually doing the live stream, so, um, but it does show you on the channel homepage anyway, so at least uh, that's one way out of it. And remember, please, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell icon. That's your notifications to make sure you never miss a treat absolutely right guys okay make sure i've got my lids on hallelujah i have 
Um, right, who, uh, so what else have we got? Inspired to use enamel paint, Lucio said. I see a lot of potential in that, by the way. Found your channel when I was searching about using chemicals and art. Fantastic. I'll just say, Lucio, they're incredibly toxic, which is why I have to protect my health. So if you do want to go down the enamel route, rather than the water-based ones, please do investigate all the health and safety concerns. We don't want you uh, being ill or anything. We go to a lot of trouble to protect ourselves, you know, air-fed helmets, a sealed container, all that kind of thing. But then we're working with it on a daily basis, so it's very, very important that, you know, I don't die. So please, please research it very carefully before you plunge into it and uh, just keep yourself safe, right? It's very important. Um, so, Zach, um, um, I know aidy has been uh, reading what's going on in the comments. So, anyway, just please take care of yourself, okay, buddy? And thank you for joining us, um, and we'll be in touch soon, all right? So, take care, mate. All right? All the best. Okay. And John Zapata. As you spelt Suarez wrong. <laughs> Suarez paint. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, um, not a footballer. Uh, just joking. Okay, fantastic. Uh, multi revelator i've been lurking hope your back improves thank you very much that's very kind of you and uh oh god i'm so sorry for for uh, thanks nana the poor thing i know it's just uh just twingy you know if you get it in the wrong places it's it's just not pleasant but hey you know life goes on crack on don't we that's what medication is for hurrah uh anyway guys uh that's our impromptu uh early afternoon tuesday live stream Guess what's coming tomorrow night, 7.30. Oh, yes, indeed. You will know that. Uh, we'd love to see you. And uh, we'll be broadcasting live here tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. And uh, we'll be uh, we will be continuing what's on the floor. Hmm. They're certainly going to all be in here. I don't know how we're going to squeeze everything in. So you know what? We might even be doing that. Um, now, we're definitely going to carry on with our, uh, with our small ones and our theme. But, but, I just think... It might be really interesting if I did some more to that one. So you have to tune in, find out, and see what happens. All right, guys? So, listen, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. It's been an absolute pleasure. Fairly short one today, but I can't really do any more for these for now. I've got to leave them, all right? But we thought we'd televise it. What better way to enjoy it than hit the live button? And where we're doing a lot more of this. Every commission that comes in now, whenever we can, we're going to go live, guys. And if we just take 20, 30 minutes out of your day for you to sit back and enjoy somebody else working for a living, happy days. Um, right, uh, Aidy, anything you want to say to the uh, to, to the folks watching? Just say thanks for uh, you know, watching and say just to impromptu. They'll, they'll pop in, they'll pop out here and there. And if you do miss it, don't forget, just pop to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to watch it all over again and, you know, enjoy it then. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have said it better myself. So I'm going to now go and rest my uh, poorly back, and uh, Aidy's going to go to the dentist. <laughs> I, I think I'd rather have what no, I'd... <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> uh, I do feel sorry for the man. I've been having dental treatment with my braces now for 18 months, and I hate it. So I, I do sympathise with him. I wouldn't want to be... Sh I'd rather have my bad back if I had to make a choice. Anyway, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell all your friends. We'll see you back here uh in 24 hours time uh when who knows what we're going to be doing thank you so much for watching from ad and myself we're out here have a very good day see you soon